So here we are near a wetland. You can see there's a lot of water over there. And over on the side of the trail, coming up out of the leaf litter, are three leaves, but not poison ivy. Um, some of these you are going to start to see, and today's the first day that I've seen them, so they might um, get bigger in the next couple of days, but today's the first day that I've spotted them. And here is one. For the first three or four years, they just put up leaves. They're, they're, this plant um, reproduces with a seed, and they put up leaves for a couple of years, gaining momentum, but then when it's mature, they'll start to have a flower. And so this plant is called the Jack in the Pulpit, and there's Jack sitting in the pulpit. Um, and it's a really fun plant. They are sequentially hermaphroditic, which means they have both male and female flowers, but not at the same time. So this is probably a male flower, which fungus gnats are attracted to and go in and pick up the pollen and then we'll crawl on female flowers. Uh, the female flowers, which I don't know how to tell the difference between male and female flowers, but the female flowers uh, trap the fungus gnats and eat them. So this is one of cool plant because it is a carnivorous plant. Uh, they, the female flowers will have water down in there. It's been dry, so I don't think they've had a chance to fill up with water. Um, and trap and eat insects. So it is just a little tiny one, this one, but some of them will grow taller, and I've seen them a lot of times a much darker red and striped, but they're pretty telltale because they, if you see a little plant that kind of looks like a calla lily, but folded over, that is a jack in the pulpit.